Hey, welcome to this 20 minute fat burning session. I'm so excited that you are here. This is going to be fun. So if you are already familiar with the movements that you see on your screen, feel free to fast forward and get straight into the workout. Otherwise, I'm going to briefly explain each of the moves in this session. So first of all, this is a high intensity, full body fat burning workout. This workout can be done from anywhere and requires no equipment at all, but optionally you can use Use a mat and a weighted medicine ball as you'll see me use. So in this session, you're going to be doing six moves total. Each move will be performed for 35 seconds, followed by a 10 second rest until all six moves have been completed, at which point we'll take a 60 second breather to grab a little bit of water and prepare to crush the next round, wherein we'll repeat that same sequence of moves for a total of four rounds. All right. Okay, let's dive into our six moves now. Power lunges. All right, so the first set, or the first two sets, excuse me, are actually power lunges. This is essentially a reverse lunge with an explosive finish. Here I'm demonstrating three tiers of difficulty. The first is the most advanced, where as I mentioned, you'll simply step back into a lunge position, being mindful of your knees, touch the ground, then return to the starting position and finishing with that powerful vertical leap. For the slightly less challenging variation, simply remove the touch on the ground, and for the easiest variation, remove the jump altogether. And you'll repeat this move, as I mentioned, on the opposite leg for the next set. Hip dips. All right, so this third set is hip dips. This is one of my favorite dynamic plank moves. So you'll start in a plank position with your forearms on the ground and you'll be pointing your toes. It's actually more difficult than it seems. And to keep yourself in proper plank form, you wanna ensure that your back and neck are neutral and aligned and you are keeping your core engaged as you twist your hips from side to side. You should really feel these in your obliques and really all throughout your core. Um, like I said, these are one of my favorite moves. Crossbody mountain climbers. So the fourth move in this session is crossbody mountain climbers. I'm demonstrating the move slowly at first here to ensure that the mechanics are clearly seen. Uh, but for this move, you'll start in a full plank position, arms fully extended and core engaged the entire time. Then you'll bring one knee to the opposite elbow then back again to that full plank position and repeat on the opposite side. Then all together at the end here, you'll see me do it at a more accurate tempo. It looks like this. Our fifth move is crisscross squat pops. You'll begin this move in a wider than shoulder width apart squatted position. Be sure your knees are not passing your toes or caving inward at all. You wanna make sure those knees are always protected and make sure that your core is engaged. After being in that squatted position, you're gonna hop vertically, landing with your ankles crossed, then jump back to the starting position and repeat for the allotted time. The final move is a lateral shuffle with a trunk twist. Watch this one carefully. You'll keep your arms at a 90 degree angle at your sides as if you're holding something in front of you. You'll skip laterally twice in one direction before ending with a trunk twist or a twist of the upper body. Be sure that you are pivoting your foot to increase your range of motion. It's also more comfortable and it's a way to make sure we're protecting that back. And again, you wanna keep your core engaged. Uh, then you'll do the same in the opposite direction. If you wanna add a little bit more resistance, feel free to add a weighted medicine ball. All right, so those are our six movements for this 20 minute fat burner. Let's get to it. 